Hello dear friends, it's Angelina and Dima here from Walking Nature World and today we are coming to you with another gear review Trekking Pose Arpenath 100 from Decathlon We just started to use the Trekking Pose this year and it was our first test in the field with them We hiked more than 300 kilometers with them and we think we are ready to share our honest review and opinion about this product So here we are going to talk about technical specs, durability, its benefits, drawbacks and our personal experience with them So let's begin! As you may know, we buy quite a lot of stuff in the Decathlon store and find it a good quality while being reasonably priced at the same time. And these trekking poles weren't an exception. For the first three years of our hiking experience, we haven't used any trekking poles at all. And only during our Tour de Mont Blanc trail, we realized that we may need an extra support because there were many steep downhills and our knees were feeling it quite a lot. So we were on the market in the search of the trekking pole and we knew that we want a budget-friendly option, especially because it is our first experience and just wanted to try it out and see how it works for us. Also, the weight was very important, as we didn't know if we were going to use it all time, and we didn't want to carry extra weight. So we looked in the options in the Decathlon store and found this basic trekking pole. We figured that it's one of the lightest ones, and very budget-priced, and maybe the perfect match for the first-time use. So here it is in our hands, as you can see, and now we want to talk about it more in depth. So by the look of it you can see that it is a basic trekking pole made of aluminium that weighs around 200 grams. It has a foam straight handle, the pommel on the top and a wrist strap. Its collapsed length is 55 cm and collapsed width is 5 cm. It has three adjustable sections, a non-removable summer basket and a steel tip. Now let's have a look of how to adjust them. It has a push pin adjustment system, so the pole can be 105, 110, 115 or 120 cm long, depending on your needs. So you have to press the button to release it from the hole, then slide the tube until the button reaches the hole at the desired length. For your convenience, there is the line on the lower tube to align the button with the holes. It's better not to go over the stop line to avoid any damage of the pole. The poles don't need any particular care, rather than just to keep them dry and clean. On the website they recommend to check inside of the tube for any water or dirt left and not to oil the poles. They claim undergo multiple durability tests on different terrain and it proved to be able to surf for at least 500 km and they give to your warranty for this product. So we think it's about time to share our own experience with them and what benefits and drawbacks we found. So talking about benefits, we like that they are relatively lightweight, compact and easy to carry. You can attach them to your backpack easily if needed. Also we think that they are quite durable and reliable as we have walked more than 300 km with them this year and as you can see they are still in a good proper shape. The foam handles are fine, they didn't break or fail us and the tips are ok. Having said that you still need to use them with care and don't put the excessive weight or effort on them. We have found them of a great help this year because we are hiking mostly in the mountains and they helped us a lot to keep the pressure out of the knees and overall to be more balanced and feel more secure. The grip is quite comfortable and soft, but me personally, because I have so thin and fragile skin, I've noticed some rough skin forming after several days of use. Also the muscles of the arms that normally don't participate in walking can be a bit sore, but that's fine we think, as this way it spreads the effort around different body parts. The locking mechanism is secure and we always double check it by pressing down on the pole before start walking. The adjustable length works fine and it covers most of your needs at least for the medium to tall people we think. We normally use the 105cm length for the uphills, 120cm for the steep downhills and 115 for the relatively flat terrain. It all depends on how you feel and what's comfortable for you. 
we have found that even using one pole helps to distribute the weight a little bit better and thus walk more comfortably. But still most of the time I use both of the poles, simply because Dima is more responsible for filming and he's always holding the camera in his hand. So it is not really convenient for him to carry, right? Yeah. But still in some extreme parts we could share them, which is nice. So now switching to drawbacks, we can name several minor issues we've noticed with them. As we said, the grip is comfortable and soft, but some people will find that it is not very natural because it is straight and not angled. Also, they don't have the notches for your fingers as some others do. The push pin adjusting system, even though it is simple, reliable and light, as they state on the website, can be a bit annoying at first when you first start using them. There were many times when you need to adjust them fast and simply can't do it because you keep twisting the tube trying hard to find the hole in it. There were several times of pulling out the pole completely, which is no fun. And only after some time and practice we started to feel them better. And of course paying attention to the lines and stop signs helps a lot too. But unfortunately you can't just start using them right away with no effort at all. One funny fact about this pushpin system and the holes in the tube itself is that when there is medium strong winds, the holes start whistling and that can be annoying for some people. The tips of the poles are made of steel and that's why on slippery hard surfaces like rocks, sidewalks, tiles, basically on any slick surface they slide a lot. So it may be a good idea to buy separate rubber nozzles on them, which we believe you can find in Decathlon as well. It is especially important if you know you are going to do a lot of road walking. But their standard steel tips works just fine with any normal ground terrain you find on most of the trails. Just on the rock falls we found them useless and had to go without them. You can purchase these trekking poles on any Decalon store of your country. We believe now they have also opened their stores in US and Australia. It comes only in one blue color and we like that you can buy them individually, so that if you need just a single pole or the other one breaks, you don't have to buy a complete pair. So this is everything we wanted to share with you about these trekking poles. Of course we'll update this review in the comments if you find out something new. And please share your experience with the trekking poles and what kind do you use. Leave us any questions you have down below. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up as it helps many other people searching for the information to find this video. And don't forget to subscribe of course if you enjoy watching the gear reviews like this one as we have many more to come in the nearest future. Meanwhile, check out our other gear reviews and hiking tips videos that you'll find all in a separate playlist. We're saying goodbye for now and see you very soon. Bye guys!